everybody can identify with coming second. And for some reason, everybody remembers the time that they came second. And do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and the times that you come first are kind of a blur. Mm -hmm. Every time you come second, you think about who it was who beat you, how you got there, what you might have done that was better. What was the time you came in second? I've got a couple, I've got a few silvers in photography. <laughs> and, and look at you now. Yeah, no, look at me now. <laughs> First place and second. The idea came from an assignment that I was working on. I was photographing the ballroom dancing, which is being photographed a lot. And while I was there, I saw the winning people, I saw the, the dancing which is being photographed, and then when the awards started getting handing out, the whole place collapsed and there were guys off crying in the corner, there was women crying. It was really very emotional after the awards had been handed out and I realized that I'd never seen that side of ballroom dancing. So we started photographing the, the people that had come second at that event. And then when we edited them back, they were, they were the really interesting pictures because the emotions ranged from being really excited of being second to being angry to being kind of non-committal and it, so it wasn't any one direction the way that you would imagine it. been second. Can anybody really think about who was second at the current Olympic Games after Michael Phelps? I mean, you really, you really take, you fall in this enormous shadow and when people saw this work, uh, they were uh, riveted, they laughed, they found it hysterical and that he actually thought about, you know, the poor uh, competitor. And I think what's even funnier is that he in his investigation, which is very typical of Sandy, um, only he would find um, an organization that um, actually has pillow fights.